two, one. Cover! With no pilot to compromise performance, even more unusual craft and propulsion systems have been designed and tested. This incredible machine was originally designed to shoot down nuclear missiles and satellites. Yeah. Just 12 inches long, gyroscopically balanced, and with thrusters at key points around its body, it is capable of instant changes of direction. Cover. Cover. Cover tracking. Cover. Roll. Woo! All right! No airplane could ever catch this machine. Emerging through the changes and mergers was the lightweight exoatmospheric projectile, or LEAP program. Terrier LEAP was developed as a demonstration phase only. That is incredible technology. Think about this. When does a new day start? At midnight. Is it light or dark out? Dark. If a new day starts in the dark, why are you afraid to have use your dark side for your new beginnings? Whoa. Whoa. Yo, think about it, man. This is the world map, and this is Rome. What if I told you that from here to here, it's 6,400 kilometers, but from here to here, which only looks like half the size, is 7,200. The continent of Africa has been shown smaller than it actually is. What if I told you that Greenland was only this size, or Russia was this size? Or the US and Canada were much smaller. You know what? This is the real map. Look at Sweden, Finland and Norway. They're much smaller now. Or well, Greenland is tiny. Maybe it wasn't practical. But it seems unfair towards Africa. Why haven't we been told this in school? Yo! Oh! That gay school of thought has made me to think about a lot of things. Okay. Let's keep watching though. Hi, Duru. Hi, what's up, man? This is somewhere in Australia. This guy, wherever he lives. Ah, now she defies a snake. What? Oh my god. We love animals and nature, but you know how reptilians are scary, man, and. Yo, there's certain vibe that reptiles just give and a chilly feeling that you... Yo, I personally get that chilly feeling in my body when I... Yo, a lot of snakes, all types of snakes. Is this real? People watching from Australia. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my. Everywhere snake. Guys, how does it feel living there? Recent Gallup poll, 15 million Americans claim to have seen a UFO. The same poll showed that 51% of the adult population is convinced that flying saucers are real. For those who haven't seen one, this is a recreation of what Carol Critchfield saw on a hilltop in Big Chimney, West Virginia. The artists used the same technique that a police artist would use in recreating the features of a suspect 
from the descriptions of witnesses. And this is what Philip Baker saw on the town road in Mellon, Wisconsin. Helen Kay and her children saw this object land on a football field in Medford, Minnesota. A systematic attempt by the U.S. government to investigate UFOs was conducted by the Air Force and was called Project Blue Book. Project Blue Book ended in 1968. The Air Force had by then investigated more than 11,000 UFO sightings and found explanations for all but 676. The Air Force seemed to have no interest in the sightings it could not readily attribute to earthly phenomena. Perhaps it's time to approach the question of UFOs again without bias. Where is it? <laughs> 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 no idea, pal. Where is it? How's he gonna hold on? For the last time, I fight you, I am gonna f***ing tear his balls off or have him tear a new one! Oh, he's gone! He's gone! He's gone! Get away! Oh my god! What? Where is he? There, he's there! You! YOU! BRAH! <laughs> Go on, run, pal! Get out of here, son! Go on, lad! Go on! Oh my god, English people, that is very scary to look at. You mean you can be going to work and someone else is coming to work at your place, but now a different work. That is very sad, man. People, we should say love, but not love someone's else's wife. Please let someone's wife be. Search for yours and share love. You know, when you generate love, love shall come to you. And you shall find genuine love. But don't interfere with other people's relationship. That way you might be hurting other people, causing love to go down and not up. Share love. Share lots of love. Lots of love and not such guy. Oh man, that's very scary. You can imagine that guy. Whoa. I can't tell you. How could he? Man, that's very scary. I was just scrolling through my messages today when I received a message from the Irish Shadow. It was a simple message, but it sent shivers down my spine. Let me read it out. The Earth contains a vast amount of energy in various forms, including kinetic energy, the energy of motion, the stored energy of an object due to its position or configuration. Some examples of energy sources on Earth include fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas, nuclear energy, solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric energy generated by water and geothermal energy generated by heat from the Earth's core. The total amount of energy available on Earth is not fixed and can vary over time due to processes such as the formation of fossil fuels. With his power and his skill, he will not be denied. He will use energy to accomplish great things and to defy the limits of what is thought possible, to break free from the chains and bring about a brighter future. For all the Irish shadow is a man like no other. He has a power, a gift, that he discovered the ability to manipulate energy, to bend it to his will, a power that he wields with great skill. I must implore all of you to follow Elon's 123 crew on the esteemed social media platform known as Twitter. You will be privy to a wealth of knowledge and enlightenment. Oh my God. Okay, have you guys heard of Menugate? It's a pretty fun conspiracy theory and it kind of started here on TikTok by a guy named Cody. Let me show you his profile. So this is Cody and he's experiencing some really, really weird things happening in his building. So I'm gonna try and summarize it pretty quick. Basically, this guy's a lawyer in Atlanta. He lives in an apartment building, he's lived there for like a little while, but never really noticed anybody coming in or out, never really minded it either. Um, until one day he came home and there were a bunch of menus from a restaurant left at every single door in his building. So he doesn't really see anything weird with it. He goes and takes his 
goes inside his house, doesn't really pay attention to the rest. Except three days go by since the menus were dropped off and every single menu is still at every single door but his in his building. And the guy literally goes and checks every floor for the menus to see if they've moved. So he uploads this on TikTok. A bunch of people call him a liar. Um, so then he gets a notice saying that the parking garage will be closed for a day for working or something being fixed. So he goes down to the garage and realizes that there's a row of cars that have been parked there for a very long time because they have a layer of dust on them. And one of the cars um, hasn't even had his, its registration changed since 2019. So now he uploads that on TikTok and a bunch of people call him a liar saying that he's setting the whole thing up. So somebody tells him to pull a fire alarm and then film it to see how many people exit the building. And literally no one but him exited the building. So now this guy thinks he's living in a complete empty building, but people are speculating that, you know, he's maybe timeline jumping or like he's uh, there's a glitch in the matrix. So I figured I'm like, okay. If we go with this theory that there is a glitch in the matrix and this guy has somehow found a way of getting into certain spaces where it's only agents. Now, what do I mean by that is he actually walked around his building one time went to a location with restaurants and in every single restaurant there was only one person they were male they had a suit and tie on and they were all talking on the phone having the exact same conversation he also uploaded um that on his tiktok as well like you guys should go through it it's kind of wild um but here's the thing everyone's saying that he's making it up he's he's a lawyer so in my head i'm like he might lose credibility if this comes up as a whole made-up thing in his story so i don't think he's doing it for clout however i'm gonna go with the matrix theme theory and i'm gonna say what if this dude actually found a way to get into the back rooms now i know a lot of people don't know what that is but apparently um there's something called back rooms let me just show you this article real quick though so how to arrive to these um back rooms right um it's kind of really weird so according to this theory, there are back rooms where agents go and some of us can actually find a way to go into these back rooms, which then makes us either skip timelines or going to another complete different matrix um, or reality plane. Now, I find this really fascinating because this isn't the first guy who's pretty much said that he thinks he lives in a completely abandoned and empty building and this building's like fairly new. So what if maybe some of these rooms they're hiding portals in where we can jump timelines and go into different realities or different matrices. But I want to know what you guys think. Now remember, this is just a fun conspiracy. We're just talking about this, but I want to know what you guys think. What do you think? This is the vanishing bottle. Empty paper bag. Your bottle goes inside. And that's how you make it vanish. Let's learn. Once the bottle is empty, take your X-Acto knife and very carefully cut the sleeve in half. Gently remove the sleeve. This is where you have to be extra careful. You need to cut the top portion of the bottle. Insert the cutout into the sleeve and reshape the bottle by using double stick tape. Take your paper bag that's empty, place your gimmick bottle inside, and now you can crumble the paper bag in a nice ball that you can then toss away. Did you know that Vaseline is petroleum jelly, which is the exact product that you make gasoline, which just happens to rhyme with Vaseline. I know this is going to upset a lot of people, but this is something that needs to be discussed. I also will have a healthy alternative recommendation at the end of this video. The word petroleum actually means rock oil. Let's take a closer look at what this rock oil is doing for the human body. Manufacturers make petroleum jelly from the leftover petroleum material from oil and gas production. Manufacturers refine the hydrocarbon compounds to create petroleum jelly to filter out any impurities. And remember that they recommend you put this on and in your baby. There are many side effects and toxic compounds found in petroleum products. And you really have to ask yourself, when has a petroleum product ever been healthy for human beings? 
Now they'll tell you that there's no health concerns when this is properly refined, right? But then you read further how this petrolatum is not really refined in the US. It's refined somewhere else that has a lot of contaminated toxic chemicals. Also keep in mind, just because you don't have insane reactions to this stuff right away doesn't mean it's not harming you in the long run. Also keep in mind this petroleum will trap these things in your skin because it is a synthetic oil. It is not assimilating with the human body. Again, petroleum doesn't assimilate with the human body. So we need to understand that it's going to cause adverse reactions and it's going to harm your body because it's nothing close to natural, which petroleum jelly happens to have a whole lot of these carcinogens. As to no surprise, Europe has already gotten rid of this stuff because of the carcinogens in it. Honestly, I can make this a 10 minute video of all the side effects and negatives of using petroleum on your human body, but at this point, this is a great awakening. People are starting to learn that these things out here are doing no service to us. They're actually here to do the opposite, and I'm honestly getting exhausted showing each one of these things one by one because we simply just have to think, is petroleum oil something you want to rub on and in into your skin. What's the good news here? This one's very simple, man. You guys can use all kinds of different natural oils on your skin as opposed to using this petroleum byproduct that they've tricked us into using our whole life. Personally, I do a coconut oil shea butter mix one-to-one -one ratio, which I will also be offering on my website here very soon. This is very scary now, man, I think. What? What do you think? Ôi xuống địa ngục thăm mấy thằng bạn à And uh, there's one over here Looks like it's holding some water huh? I think it's time to go